All right, people of YouTube, me and my son, I'm about to give you guys a little unboxing slash overview of the Sandusky wagon. Uh, the model number is CW3418. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had this for a minute. We finally doing an unboxing. I had this for roughly a week and a half already. This bad boy is heavy. I'm just going to say that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't expect it to be this heavy. But this bad boy... Right. Now, of course, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be heavy duty, of course, because it's supposed it's supposed to be able to support uh, I think 600 pounds or 500 pounds, or I think it's the 400 pound one. And if you're not already knowing, I'm gonna be personally personally using this for my film gear, so you know they carry like tripods and stuff and. You know, without the lug all kind of stuff around, it just makes it easy, especially when we out, you know, filming in different parks and recreations and street fairs. It just makes it so much easy, you know, to lug the gear around. So, you know, side piece, other side piece, you know, see how that feel, that ain't that heavy. I wonder what's so damn heavy. <laughs> There's the tires right here, rubber tires, inflatable tires, you know, and it's stuff smells strong. Hey, hold on. Open the window. What's wrong with the window? Don't nobody go uh, in the bathroom. Alright, man. So we have to open up a window. The little brand new smell of this stuff is super, super strong. For all four tires are there. The handle. This stuff smells hella strong. Yeah, when you unbox this, you may want to have a window open. A couple of them. So here's the handle, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. All right, my son got the directions. We got some toolers right here, you know what I'm saying? So these are the little pins that you slide inside there that I was mentioning inside my vlog, how it's easy to, you know, you see there's not that many screws. There's just these pins. That's how everything connects mostly for the most part, which is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I tell you one thing though, if you like that new if you like that new smell, you won't be disappointed with this product. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. So this base piece is the heaviest piece. This bad boy. This is what's heavy. So that's gonna be the back, that's the front. All right, we got our little directions out. You know what I'm saying? First step, you see, we might need some tools. Get my, hold on, get some stuff real quiz, Nick. Get the toolbox. I did a video of this too, showing my film, like gear, but like my little small knickknacks and stuff like that. So, get this bad boy out. Get this bad boy out. First step.
right, so there it is. Finally done, took about 15 minutes. You know, the main part that's gonna take a little second is to get the little wheel base mounted onto the frame. You know, it comes with like real, like three real big nuts, paws, you know. And this is the type of nuts that got, dang, can't talk. And it's the type of nuts that got like the little plastic, like little, you know, stuff inside of it so it can stay screwed on. So it take a little bit of muscle getting that on there. So it is pretty uh, like wiggly. But, you know, I think it'll still work with what we're trying to use it for, for the most part. Oh, and these pins, these pins don't even, like, I don't know. I don't like how these lock in. They, like, super loose, like, you know. And then the pin is way thinner than the actual hole, like, super thin. So it's, like, without this little locking mechanism right here, it'll be real loose. Then I also noticed when I let the back down, it's hitting the back of the wheels. So I would have to take the back completely off if I wanted to be open like this. I think I'm gonna keep it like, have it where it's open in the back. But with the back off, you know, the sides are real flimsy because it, it doesn't have that back support. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's no big deal, unless I'm packing a lot of stuff inside here. But either I'm gonna have the back off, or either I'm gonna have to leave the back on and just have the stuff resting on top of the fence thing, which is no big deal, you know. So that's that, not to worry about lugging no stuff around as far as carrying it. You know, it's set inside here, even if I'm filming. I wanna set my shoulder rig down, you know, set this bad boy inside here, you know. Boom. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing slash overview. Um, be looking out for more videos to come. And yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up. And can't wait to use this bad boy. We out, peace.